Hello world, this is Kai and today we'll be taking a look at the Particle iOS SDK. Uh, as with anything with Particle, this can be a little confusing at first, but hopefully this video will start to unravel how to use this SDK and you guys can start creating some cool apps. So, let's start by going into Xcode and I'm going to assume that you guys have like a little bit of a background knowledge with Xcode, but if not, I'll try to go pretty slow. I'll create a new project. If you don't see this window here, you can just go to File, New, Project. And for now, we'll do a single view application, which is just going to give us a template, and I'll call my product name Particle. Uh, the rest of this stuff doesn't really matter for now. We're just creating like a test project, so nothing too official. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. Now, once we're in this project, we're going to have to use third-party software known as CocoaPods. And if you don't already have it installed, we'll just go ahead and run this command in our terminal, invoking the super user do gem install CocoaPods. And you would click enter. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through that. And then you would just update it right here using your uh, the update command that they have. But it should be updated. Anyways, then I'll print the working directory and go to that new Xcode project that we just created, which is on my desktop in this particle directory. So CD desktop particle. And if I print what's inside of it, I'm sorry, uh, using the ls command, I can see these files right here. Now what I need to do is create a new pod file, so I'll do pod init. And we can see that we now have this new pod file inside the directory, and I can either open it in the terminal or with a text edit, it doesn't matter. What I need to do in here is uncomment these first, uh, these hash marks right here. It tells us to do it in here. And what I have to do next is to tell this which Cocoa Pod to use. So I'll go into their uh, particle, their reference right here, and it says to use this key right here, Pod Spark SDK. So if I go into the text edit and I paste that in there, save the pod file, close it out, and then in my terminal, I'll do pod install. This might take a little while, but now it's going to actually install this repository inside of our project, and we're going to get a new type of file. It's going to be a workspace, and that's what we're going to want to use instead of using the Xcode project. So now I'll close out Xcode, and I'll double-click the XC workspace. Now we're not done yet. In order to use Swift and use the iOS SDK, we have to create something known as a bridging header. So I'll go to File, New, create a new type of file. It's a header file, and I will save it as bridging header in particle. Now I've been getting a lot of errors trying to do this in the past so what I'm gonna go ahead and just do right away is go to my directory and put it inside the particle folder itself and I don't see it there it's kind of weird maybe I'm newbie at this but this is how I do it um, that bridging header we just created I'm gonna drag it into finish all right sweet so now we have that bridging header in our project. What I have to do then is click right here on the project, click our project again, the name, and then go to build settings, click all. And now I'm going to just type in right here in the little search path objective. And where it says user header search path, I'll double click, click the plus sign right here, and I'm going to just type in the capital P pods and make sure that this is recursive and we're done there and then I'll navigate to the bottom and we should see something called objective C bridging header so I'll put in the name of our project which is just particle forward slash and then the name of the bridging header that we created inside the project directory which is bridging header dot H make sure you include that extension click enter and now we're done there 
And then finally, all I have to do is go inside that bridging header file that we created and now import the Spark Cloud, or sorry, yeah, Spark Cloud.h. Just want to make sure that's right. And now, if we build the project, we should see that everything is compiled correctly. And there we have it. So now we actually want to go ahead and call upon some functions, and we'll do that in the next particle video.